alternating swing snatch to a windmill. So this is great for metabolic output, overhead stability, core stability. As we're rotating, get a little bit of hamstring mobility down into that windmill. Just a great full body one right here. For starters, let's start our setup just a little, couple inches behind that kettlebell so we can get that good momentum off that initial swing. So we'll just start on that right hand side, grabbing the kettlebell, soft bend in the knees, good hip hinge pattern. As we pull it, when it gets to that end point, it's forcefully squeeze those glutes, shoot those hips forward, pull hard through that elbow, trying to get that kettlebell as vertical as we can, and we're gonna snap underneath it. Once it is up in that upright position, you really want to press up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, lock out that elbow, get a good packed shoulder, create that strong foundation. So if it's in our right side, we're now gonna pigeon toe out a little bit, so rotate that left leg out. Then we're gonna try and reach down as much as we can. So kind of use your shin, use your leg as a guide. Follow that down to a depth that works for you. If you got the mobility to go all the way down to the ground, do so while trying to keep that kettlebell vertical. So now asking upon your obliques and your core, everything to stabilize on the way down, we're gonna come back up. And then we're gonna move into a swing. So I've seen people catch it in the front rack, and then go into their swing. If you're feeling ambitious, you can go straight from that snatch position right to the other hand. So whatever you're comfortable with, hand-eye coordination, if you're familiar with the snatch, whatever your level is, you, you, you pick that level for you and just alternating onto the other side. So we're hitting both sides. The one thing to be taking note of is keep your eyes on that kettlebell. Um, you don't want to get away from you, especially in that compromised position where we're all bent over. We don't want to swing in backwards. We don't want to lose it. We don't want to get bopped in the head. So just stand very mindful of where that is. If you can picture a string, attach the kettlebell, hoist it up to the ceiling. That's the image that we're going for. That's kind of the, the positioning of the kettlebell where we want it. So the whole time trying to keep it vertical, strong in the core, just finding depths that work for you, finding a load that works for you, finding the swing pattern. A lot of good rhythm, very good for metabolic output, hitting everything. So shoulders, core, hips, you name it. It's a great one. Take it at your own pace. Definitely an advanced movement. When you got it, you got it.